Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to read the citation for Mark Coulier, winner of the 2015 Alumni Success in Business Award. Mark is a two time Academy Award winning makeup artist, creative director of one of Europe's leading makeup effects companies, and a celebrated Anglia Ruskin alumnus. Born in Leyland in Lancashire, Mark attended Hutton Grammar School before coming to Anglia Ruskin University in the mid 1980s to study illustration. Soon after graduating, he stumbled upon a book on prosthetic makeup in Cambridge Market, which would change his life and inspire. And inspired by what he'd seen, Mark set up a small studio and began to concentrate on 3D sculpture and build up a makeup portfolio. He then studied for a year at the London College of Fashion, completing his course with a placement at a company called Image Animation at Pinewood Studios. Soon afterwards, he began to win freelance work with London's leading special effects companies. Mark's career began to gather momentum as he worked with London-based makeup effects companies, including the famous Jim Henderson's Creature Shop, where he worked on Babe, The Never-Ending Story Part Two. Other projects included Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Event Horizon, The Mummy series, and Star Wars Episode One, where he even had a small part playing one of the creature characters. He was also part of the team responsible for the BAFTA award-winning creature effects on Alien 3. And then Mark worked as a key prosthetic makeup artist on all seven of the Harry Potter films, where he was responsible for bringing to life the character of Lord Voldemort, amongst many others. In 1996, Mark established Coulier at Creature FX, a St. Albans based company specialising in prosthetic makeup uh, special effects. The list of Hollywood's hits in Mark's portfolio began to grow significantly. He worked with Danny Boyle on the beach and again on Sunshine. He supplied makeup effects for X-Men First Class and headed up a team of over 50 makeup artists for the Brad Pitt zombie film World War Z. Coolio Creature, uh, Creature FX went on to recreate the horrific burn injuries suffered by Nicky Lauder in the Ron Howard film Rush. This was closely followed by the long-awaited Nelson Mandela biopic Long Walk to Freedom, for which Mark created character makeups and aged these characters for over a 30-year period. Mark worked again with Ron Howard on the upcoming Heart of the Sea and has recently fulfilled another of his ambitions by creating the makeup for a villain in a Bond movie, the upcoming Spectre. Mark has won Emmy Awards for the miniseries Merlin in 1999 and for Arabian Notes in 2000 and was an Academy Award and BAFTA winner in 2011 for his work on The Iron Lady, where he transformed Meryl Streep into an aged Margaret Thatcher. This year, he won his second Oscar and BAFTA for his work on the film, The Grand Budapest Hotel. Mark has worked on more than 50 films in his 27 year career and has become one of the best in the business, working closely with many Hollywood superstars. We are delighted to recognize Mark's achievement as an Anglia Ruskin alumnus, who is an Academy Award winning creative artist. Mark is an inspirational role model for all our film study and illustration students showing just how far this field of study can take you and is a worthy winner of the 2015 Alumni Success in Business Award. Vice Chancellor, it is therefore my pleasure to present Mark Coulier as winner of the 2000 Alumni Success in Business Award. Trophy, which you should show to people now. And you get this little bit there. So many congratulations. congratulations. Well done. If you want to say a few words, we'll get to that I'm just going to say a few words. Um, I'd like to thank the Vice Chancellor and Ang Anglia Ruskin um, and Luminous uh, for uh, supporting this. Um, I'm honoured and thankful to be here today to accept this award for business. Um, it hasn't been uh, easy to get to this point in my career. It's taken 30 years and involved a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Only fake blood, thankfully. 
but plenty of real sweat and a few tears along the way. Uh, to encourage students here, uh, I'd like to say that my old French teacher at school once said when I passed my A-level French, if Coolia can do it, anyone can, when she was trying to encourage someone to stay on the course and not drop French. So I can say the same here now to all the aspiring students, especially our students. Um, if I can do it, then so can you. All you need is a bit of hard work, passion, and determination. Go for it.